hey guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time here you're welcome to sew with mediva and if you're a returning subscriber of you i thank you for sticking to my channel so in today's video i'll be showing you guys how to cut and sew a simple kimono jacket with drawstring on the sides as you can see so this video is very detailed and very beginners friendly and i achieved this style using only two yards of ankara fabric so if you want to learn how i made the shorts that i'm wearing I I have a detailed tutorial on my channel on how I made the shots. I'm going to leave the link in the description box. So if you find this video useful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, share with your loved ones, and also put on your notification bell. So I'll be making use of two yards of Ankara fabric for this style. But if you want just bigger, you can make use of three yards. So let's go ahead now to fold the fabric. So the first thing you want to do is to fold it into two, as you can see. I folded mine into two. And then the next thing to do is to fold it into four. So I'm going to just open up my fabric this way and fold it into four. This is because we are cutting both the front and the back panels together. So right now I have my fabric in a fold of four as you can see. So go ahead to fold yours this way. So if you want yours bigger, like I said, you can make use of three yards of fabric. But this is all the fabric I have for mine. And the length of my jacket is 40 inches plus um, the folding allowance at the base. I'm going to take in one inch for the folding allowance. So make sure your folded fabric is equal on all sides. So let me just go ahead to check out mine so that the sleeves will be equal. So after I have carefully folded my fabric, this is what we have. So you can go ahead to iron it out so that your fabric will be more stable, your fold will be more stable. So let me go ahead to measure what I have after folding. So what I have here now is um 16 inches. So each which is still very okay for my body size because my round hip measurement divided by four is 11.5 inches. I'll take one inch for seam allowance, making 12.5 inches. So the remaining 3.5 inches is going to go for ease. But if you're working with a bigger fabric, you have more allowance for ease. Your kimono will be very big. So the first thing I want to do is to mark the neckline. So the wideness of the neckline, come over to the closed angle of the fabric and take the neckline, which is 3 inches. So we're going to be making use of only one neckline for both the front and the back panel. And the depth of the neckline is 1.5 inches. So go ahead to connect the two points together. So after connecting, I'm going to come over to this open angle of my fabric and take the shoulder slope of 1 inch. So you can do 1.5 inches if you want it really um, slanting. And then from that point, I'll mark my round arm hole measurement divided by 2 and add 2 inches to it, which is 11 inches because it's a jacket and I want the arm hole to be very free. So I'll go ahead to connect the neck width down to meet the 1 inch shoulder slope I took. So this is what we have. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. So I've connected the neck width now to meet the one inch shoulder slope. And then from this um, armhole point, I'm going to come in by one inch. This one inch is just like my folding allowance for the armhole area. And then I'll connect it all the way down. So from that one inch, I'm just going to go ahead and connect it all the way down to the full length of the jacket. So after that, let's go ahead now to cut it out. So I'm going to start cutting from the neckline and then I'll take the shoulder slope. So for this um, one inch allowance, I'm not going to be cutting it out. Just watch what I'm going to do. I'm only going to cut it at the armhole point and then I will just cut it out this way. So this is what we have after cutting out. So remember this place is in a fold of two. So I'll go ahead to open up the sleeve. So after cutting out and opening up, this is what we have. So as you can see, we have two identical pieces for both the front and the back panel. So let me go ahead now to separate them because we'll be cutting the front um, panel open at the center front. So this is what we have. So I'm going to go ahead now and fold it into two. So go ahead to fold it into two this way. So after folded, you should have something that looks like this. So remember, we took the neck width of 3 inches. So I'm going to go ahead and mark 3 inches all the way from the closed angle of the center front. So go ahead to mark that 3 inches now all the way down from the closed angle. So after marking, use your ruler to connect all the points together so that you can go get a very straight cut when you are cutting out. 
so i'm going to connect it all the way down to the full length of my jacket so the next thing to do now is to cut out this marked part so cut out these three inches that we have in so let's go ahead to cut out the three inches mark so remember that we're still going to have like a one inch um fabric strap that will go all around the center front from the neckline so after cutting opened this is what we have you're going to have two pieces of the front panel and one piece of the back panel so the next thing we want to do is to join the front and the back panel together so i'm going to place them on top of each other right side facing each other to do that so i'm going to place the other side on each this way the other side of the front panel so make sure you are placing them right sides facing each other so i'll place it this way and i'll take the other one and also place it on it this way you can see the neckline width is um the same you can see that is merging up to it so this is what we have so i'm going to go to my sewing machine now and close up the shoulder area using half an inch i'll do the same thing for the other side and i'll show you guys so after i close up the shoulder this is the half an inch i'll come over to the sides and also close it up using one inch the one inch seam allowance we added while we we're cutting so guys before you close up the sides make sure you finish up the base of your um jacket first before you close up the sides so fold in the base of the front panel and the back panels before you close up the sides so after joining the shoulder areas together this is what it looks like i also joined the side so before i turned it over to the right side i went ahead to notch this um curve at the armhole point so if you notch this point i made small notches like i cut it open let me show you guys the other side i cut this underarm area open so by doing this it's going to make your um jacket appear very neat on this side when you turn over to the right side but if you don't do this it's going to appear rough on that um, armhole area so you can see how neat um this point came out so the next thing we want to do now is to cut out the um strap with um, attaching to the neckline and center front so go ahead to uh, measure what you have all around this um center front from the neckline all the way down so for me i have about 85 inches and i'm gonna have to cut out the strap already it's in a fold of two and the height i'm working with is one inch but i added one half an inch to it for the joining allowance so i have my fabric here in a fold of two it's in a fold of two so i'm going to go ahead to join the two pieces together i cut it out in two because of the length of my fabric so I'll, i'm going to join them together and when i'm done doing that i'm going to take the um, center back of my neckline and fold it into two this way to get the midpoint so i'm going to just notch that midpoint i'll notch the midpoint this way and then i'll open it up so make sure the right sides are facing each other and then this is the open angle of my fold of my fabric fold i'm going to place it on it this way right sides facing each other so i'll place it on that point i notched and use my pin to hold it down then i'll go ahead to start joining this um fabric strap now all the way down to the full length of my jacket so you're attaching this on the neckline all through to the center front so i'll stitch it down all the way down to the full length of my jacket and when i'm done with that side i'll turn it over to the i'll go over to the other side of the jacket and also stitch it all the way down so when i'm done doing that i will show you guys what it looks like so after fixing in the fabric strap all around the front panel and the neckline this is what we have so you can see how neat this came out so the next thing we want to do is to finish up the armhole area and the lower part so this is the reason why i asked you guys to finish up the lower part of the front panel and the back panel individually before you join the side so i'm going to have to loosen mine up to the one inch point i want to fold in so like i said i'm going to loosen up the lower part by one inch which is my folding allowance and then i'll take it in individually for the front panels and the back panel this is because of the drawstring that we'll be having on the side so this is what i'm trying to explain so this was the reason why i told you guys to finish up the base before you closed up the side so that you won't have to go through all this so i'll fold in the back also and then i will just go ahead to close up the sides again on the lower part so this um one inch seam allowance is going to be for our drawstring casing when we are done finishing the base so after that i'll come over to the sleeve and also fold in half an inch twice and stitch it all the way around this i'll do the same thing for the other sleeve and i'll show you guys 
so after i finished up the base this is what it looks like so you can see that i finished them up individually then i closed up the sides as you can see and for the sleeve also i've gone ahead to fold it in twice and i ironed it out so the next thing to do now is to create the drawstring channel so we're going to be making use of this one inch seam allowance that we have on the side so go ahead to iron it out first and then determine where you want your drawstring to stop where you want it to start so mine i won't come up by 12 inches from the lower part of my jacket i'll mark that 12 inches there and then i'll take it to my sewing machine now and close up that point i'll stitch it down all the way down to the full length i'll close up the other side so we're going to have um holes at the lower part that's where we're going to pass our um drawstring so i'll do the same thing for the other side iron it out and stitch it down so when i'm done doing that i will show you guys so after i've stitched down the seam allowance up to the 12 inches mark this is what it looks like and i went ahead to iron it out so i have also already fixed in the loop for this other side and this is what we are trying to achieve for the lower part of our kimono jacket so i'm going to show you guys how to do that for this other side so this is my loop i have already folded in and turned over to the right side and i ironed it out so what i'm going to do now is to get my pin and one part of my loop is closed so i'm going to fix my pin on this closed angle and then from the um, upper, upper part i'm going to pass in the loop this way i'm going to pass it in this way and then i'll draw it inside so i'll do the same thing for the other side i'll take the fabric and pass it in through the upper part so make sure you use your pass your pin through the closed angle of your loop because that's going to be the pass that will be outside so i'll pass it in again and when i'm done with that i'm going to just go ahead and pull it out i'll pull it and stitch it down i'll stitch the loops down so by the time we are done this is what we are going to achieve for our jacket so, so for this um tutorial i won't be having any pockets in the front of my jacket because my fabric will not be enough but you can just come down by 18 inches and insert your pocket so guys this is what the finished product of the kimono jacket looks like after i was done inserting the um drawstring so you can see how simple this tutorial was and how beautiful this jacket looks so you can wear this on a gown or you can wear it with a shorts or trouser so guys this is how we end this video for today and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you find it useful leave a comment subscribe to my channel if you're yet to subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye